Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and welcome to yet another special gold edition video of my best class setups in Black Ops 2. Now, since I've been getting so much positive feedback from you guys and my subscribers as well, I figured let's slap on the golden camo and give the visuals a bit more spice. Now, bear in mind, I do not have the diamond camo on my assault rifles, unfortunately, because I simply just don't go for all the gold camos on every weapon. But hopefully in the future, I will be able to do so and put them in my videos later on in the future. Alright, so the assault rifle we'll be looking at today is the AN-94 and this assault rifle is one of my higher KD ratio weapons currently holding a 2.46 KD ratio after killing over 3000 enemies. Now the AN-94 is a well rounded assault rifle being able to kill enemies very quickly at all ranges due to the high damage and accuracy of the weapon. Also, the AN-94 is the only weapon to be able to burst at different fire rates, meaning that every time we shoot the AN-94, the first two bullets will release at 937 rounds per minute, and the continuous fire will shoot at 625 rounds per minute. So the gun itself is very unique, and also being able to burst the weapon without select fire, shooting off the first two bullets every time can be a very useful technique to use, especially to eliminate enemies from a long distance. Just before I get into the setup video, for those who are watching me for the very first time, welcome to my channel. What I normally do is basically take a weapon from Black Ops 2 and use it in multiplayer thoroughly to the point where I am satisfied that this is the right setup to give out to anyone who wants an advantage in multiplayer. Now if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like as it will be much appreciated and if you want to see more awesome class setups done by me, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the logo on the top right hand corner of this video and let's get right into the class setup. So the class we are aiming for today is versatility, however more focused on the close to mid range kills as well as stealth and efficiency. Alright, so the AN-94, the first weapon attachment we will equip is the suppressor. Why? Because the AN-94 is a very strong weapon already and putting on the suppressor, in my opinion, did not reduce much range at all so I was able to kill enemies at the same rate as I would without a suppressor and also with an advantage of not showing up on the enemy's minimap at all. Other advantages of having the suppressor attached is the increase of the already accurate AN-94. Now usually people believe that the attachment actually reduces recoil which is a myth. The reason why it feels more accurate is the reduction of muzzle flashes when shooting so visually we are able to see the enemies clearer especially when we're killing them alongside with the added stealth as well. The next attachment we'll use is fast mags. This is simply because I like to reload fast in case I see an enemy and I get done because I'm in the process of reloading and that can be extremely frustrating especially when I'm on a high kill streak. And also because we are using the silencer as well, we can flank multiple enemies and kill them consistently and if you want to go head on, that's fine as well. With these two attachments together, double kills and triple kills can occur quite frequently. And also in addition, the AN-94 can sometimes outbeat most SMGs because of the fast rate of fire, especially in the beginning when shooting. The secondary weapon I use every time, unless I'm sniping or simply just don't have enough points to have it on, and I've never said this in any of my videos, but it is the FHJ 18 AA, or as I like to call it, the Stinger. Reason is because with my primary gun setup, you don't really need a secondary, and you can take out any air support ranging from UAVs to escort drones. And for some reason, a lot of noobs who use care packages always get those crazy air supports. So it's just basically to prepare yourself and maybe also stack up your points for your score streaks. And also for the lethal grenades, we'll put on the almighty frag grenades. Now, as far as the perks go, it's a pretty standard setup that I normally use. So with the first perk from tier 1, we'll use Ghost. Now this will allow us to flank enemies without being spotted on the enemy's UAV. And it's particularly useful with this gun setup because you're able to maneuver around the map without being seen on the enemy's minimap. But that is provided that you're constantly moving, which is what I always recommend. 
for the next perk and you'll need to use the perk 1 greed wildcard and that is hardline. Now the reason for hardline is because the class is all about being fast and efficient so let's get the score streaks fast as well. So by using this perk we are able to get our score streaks 20% faster and with UAV selected it's a great perk to use and to gain points and kills as well. The next perk we will use and that will be toughness. This is the one perk in the game where it's equivalent to stopping power in Modern Warfare 2 because everyone in multiplayer basically uses it and it allows you to kill enemies easier by reducing a ton of flinch when you're in a gun on gun battle so you won't be able to put off your target so easily when you're getting shot and it's just a great perk to use. And for the last perk we will use from tier 3 and is my all time favourite perk, Tactical Mask. Even though people don't usually throw stuns, flashes or place shock charges, it gives me the confidence knowing that I can be aggressive and go after my enemies without having to worry too much about those tactical grenades, which is why I believe Tactical Mask is a huge influence on my game style. So coming to a conclusion to my video now, I know we're going a bit over time with the gameplay ending, but please try this class setup in multiplayer, I guarantee it that you guys will do very well, as I'm currently using it right now, and I'm getting over 400 score per minute on team deathmatch, so definitely try it out please, and if you guys did find this video helpful, please give it a like, and I'm definitely making a lot more class setup videos this week, so be sure to stay tuned to my channel, and as for now, I'm out, peace.